Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I gave you guys the game of the weeks, but I didn't get give you guys the records because last video we were running low on time. We're going to start this Jets vs. Niner game. That's the Monday night game of week one. So currently after seven weeks, we got four weeks remaining. Dom is one and six. Bidum is three and four. Kev is three and four. Sway is five and two. Montana is four and three. Dan is five and two. World, aka me, I'm six and one. Trey is one and six. Jake is four and three. Mike is three and four. Tyleek is four and three. And then Chris is three and four. So we got four more weeks. Getting down to the nitty gritty. The playoff pushes. You got a little bit of echo, Dan, going on. Uh, no. Hello? Yeah. Excuse me, it sounds good now. It's all right. All right. Ready, week eight? Yep. Who are we starting with? Sway versus Dan. Sway versus Dan. All right. All right, so we have Josh Allen going on the road against Seattle. And then Jalen Hurts going on the road against Cincy. Fair to say that's even? It is. Okay, so we got Brees Hall going on the road against New England, and Aaron Jones going on the road against the Rams, versus Kyron Williams at home against Minnesota, and Brian Robinson at home against Chicago. Uh, to me, this is more even as well. That I will agree with. Um, then we have AJ Brown versus Olave. Mm -hmm. AJ. And then Rasheed Rice and Malik Neighbors versus Cooper and Godwin. That's fair. I'm looking at the last time he played you guys. 15.8 and 2.6. Interesting. We have Cooper against Baltimore. Uh, Rasheed Rice is tough as a rookie against the Raiders. Let's see when he play him. 11.7 and 24.7. So I like Rasheed Rice based on the matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, Godwin and Atlanta I like more than neighbors at Pittsburgh. But that's a primetime game. You know, Odell was wilding out them prime times, bro. Yeah. Uh, Godwin had 12.6 and 10.6 last year against both teams. But um, I think, yeah, I think the wide receivers are pretty even as well as the whole core. That's fair. I don't know. I almost want to give you the edge, but we we say even. Let's go to this McBride and Laporta. Laporta has Tennessee. Matchups. McBride mm -hmm. has Miami. I think this is even as well. It's tough because I got you for the slight edge at wide out. And mm -hmm. I gave him the slight edge at tight end. So I'm going to say it's even through okay, okay. all the positions. So now it's coming down to the flex and the defense. And Singletary can't be played. Is it Addison? Gus Edwards against the Saints is not ideal. Then you got better options, I feel like. Watson against. Hopkins in Detroit. Yeah, Hop, D Hop will be back in full health by now. Then defense, you got KC versus the Raiders. That's fire. You got Seattle versus Buffalo, or Atlanta versus Tampa. Atlanta versus Tampa could be solid. Yeah, um, I think this is a game of the week matchup. I think so as well. I'm gonna do Sway versus Dan part two. Um, I'm going to go you. That's going to be game of the week, though. I'm going to go me as well. It's close, though. Really close. All right. Uh, next, we have... Bidum versus Trey. All right. Okay, so we have Deshaun Watson versus CJ Stroud. Got Stroud. 
Yeah. Uh, Jacobs and Javante Williams against Pacheco and Warren. All four of these guys got favorable matchups. Yeah. And I'm actually going to call it a wash. I agree. Lamb has San Fran on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. I want to see what happened during that massacre, bro. 8.9. I feel like they never, they got no chance of beating San Fran. Can we just say it right now? I think it's going to be another <laughs> blowout. Garrett Wilson against New England. That's because they have to go there. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about Oh, my, this might be an ass open. No. Yeah. So Garrett Wilson, I think, is valid. Uh, against New England, so I'm gonna actually give him the edge over Lamb. You might want to call it a wash. New England's a tough. But matchup. I got DJ and Waddle over Flowers and Judy. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna give a slight edge to Bidum right now. Okay, remember he's uh -huh. down during the quarterbacks, but I think the White House do put him ahead. Now we look at tight end, and Trey gets that advantage back. Kelsey versus Ingram. Yeah. Kelsey plays the Vegas Raiders, and then Ingram plays the Green Bay Packers. Got to go Kelsey there. So now it's e either equal or Trey got the lead. And now we're looking at the flex spots. Pickens against the Giants on Monday night. He got Jason. I'll I never like Trey's flexes. Never. Uh, Romeo Dodds versus the Jaguars is not horrible, though. But it's not it's not doing anything for me. You see what I'm trying to say? It's yeah. Like, that's almost streamer level. Like you come up stream somebody on a week and get that same production. Where Pickens yeah. and JSN, I think, is like wide receiver three play. Where it's like, oh, that's mm -hmm. fine. They even got upside to be better, depending on how the season breaks out. But um, Baltimore got that Cleveland defense. So every time they get a pick on Watson, well, Trey got yeah. that Baltimore defense. Every time they get a pick on Watson, it will add up. Chicago's playing Washington. Uh, I think Washington's offense will get better as the season goes on, right, with Jaden Davis yeah. at quarterback. So, you know, it's probably easier earlier in the season than it is now. This is actually a really tough matchup. This is like a game of the week matchup. If the teams were, like, better. That makes sense. Like yeah, like, we might have a doubleheader, and they might be the second one off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, um, I'm gonna give it to Bidum. I'm actually. I think go his wideouts push him. Yeah, I I don't think Trey's gonna like just be trash. I think he's gonna get like you know how I was in the dynasty. Like when when it's close enough, the trash man just wins because <laughs> it, this is a Super Bowl. You gotta find a way. All right. Damn. All right. So, oh, man, I'm gonna put that in the notes. Week eight, I have. I have. Trey beating Bidham. All right. Who's next? Um, you versus the prelude. Uh, do we have to go over this? We should. All right. Oh, no, no bye weeks, Dom. Okay, this is doable. <laughs> okay, Kyler... I got over Caleb. Yeah, but that's a close one. It's a slight edge. Yeah. Caleb plays Washington, the Commanders, and then Kyler plays Miami, the Dolphins. I think that Miami Dolphins one could be a shootout. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, McCaffrey and Connor versus Montgomery and uh, Gibbs. Yeah, you got to go McCaffrey and Connor there. Yeah. Uh. Puka, Debo, and Devontae mm -hmm. versus Nico, Mike, and Diggs. Even? Even based I on matchups? Say. The Texans play the Colts, and then Mike Evans plays the Falcons. Uh -huh. Then Dom's side, he has Debo playing Dallas, and he has Devontae Smith playing Cincinnati, and he has Puka playing Minnesota on Thursday night. And my bad, that Debo yeah. game is Sunday night, just so everybody knows here. Uh, I think that's even, though, between all those. I agree. 
Now we go to the tight end. Mark Andrews playing Cleveland at Cleveland. We got Kincaid playing Seattle at Seattle. Mark Andrews killed Cleveland last year in Cleveland. Mm. 25 points. Mm. Spooky. Uh, but I do think it's even. There. Now we're looking at flex options. Uh, Najee Harris against the Giants is what Dom has for Monday night. Najee Harris playing at the flex. I have Chase Brown at Philly, Jacoby Myers at KC, Brian Thomas Jr. at Green Bay as my options. I won't be playing Jerome Ford at Baltimore with Nick Chubb back and ramping up. Um, Either way, I think he beats your flex. You say he beats it? Yeah. Hmm. It does sound like you a Brian Thomas truther. Sound like we got an imposter over here. All right, he got the New York Jets defense against New England. Great matchup. Yeah, I have the New Orleans Saints defense against the Chargers. Okay, Good matchup. matchup. Yeah. Um, I got your running backs and your quarterbacks over him, so I take you. No, nah, yeah, I agree. Don, you put up a good fight, though, Don. You tried to play the upset alert by me. Yeah. You guys would be like the Tuesday night game if that was ever a thing. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Kev versus Jake. All right, let's look at this one. Jordan Love, yeah. So yeah, AR. Love versus Burrow. Uh, or a, AR, yeah, I would Houston. take AR. AR Houston, yeah, it sounds fire. And then Jordan Love versus Jacksonville. Uh, I would give the edge to Kev. Slight yeah. edge, but got to give it to him. Uh, Cook and right. Walker versus Henry and Mixon. Mm -hmm. And Cook and Walker are direct matchups, so Kev's hoping for a high-scoring game there. Yeah. Buffalo versus Seattle. Henry Mixon, Derrick Henry got to play Cleveland. Mixon got to play Indy. Um, hmm. Slight edge again. I want to say it's catch. even. Mm, I, I'm going to give a slight edge. But even is fair enough. I, I like both. They're like low-end RB1s. That makes sense? So both yeah. of them like uh, high-end RB2s. Uh, Jefferson for St. Brown. Marvin Harrison Jr. and Adam Thielen versus Keenan Allen, Deontay Johnson. I'm looking at this and hmm, these wideouts. Jefferson versus St. Brown is a wash. You agree? Yeah. Now we're looking at Marvin Harrison Jr. and Adam Thielen versus Roma Dunze. It should be Roma Dunze now by week eight, we hope, right? And Deontay, you got to go. So Deontay over Thielen, but Marvin Harrison Jr. over any of those Bears. Can we just call the White House a wash? You say anything, Dan? I don't hear you. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, all right. Uh, tight ends. Kittle versus Goddard. Don't slander. Don't Kittle slander. smashes Goddard. Oh, my. Every goodness. day of the week. Oh, Jesus. Put a condom on, Kittle. Kittle against Dallas had three touchdowns last year. I think he had three catches last year, though. Like, he's going to have to do better. At least they guard him this time, right? He had three catches, yeah, three TDs. three catches, 67 yards, three touchdowns. So. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. Rashad, Rashad White over Jonathan Brooks. Jonathan Brooks plays yes, Denver. slightly. Brooks starts gaining steam at this point. Uh -huh. He has Dallas defense. And then he has Miami. Neither one is good. Dallas versus San Fran. Nah. Miami versus Arizona. Oh, Half Minnesota has Minnesota either. versus the Rams. Mm. I think that's just a whole lot of ass. Yeah, I'm going. I gave a slight edge to Kev's running backs. Mm -hmm. And a slight edge to the quarterback. And the wide out, no? No, nah, no, nah, I call the wide outs equal all the way mm. through. But uh, tight end and flex goes to Jake. I got Jacobs. <sighs> Damn, this is a goodie. I'm going to go Jake as well. That's a good one. 
That's another game of the week. Week eight is just filled with them. I, I'm gonna do another yeah, week. There's eight. no buys in week eight. Yeah, I'm gonna say week eight is also Jake versus Kev, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get say that's a cover double header. Uh, so we both got Jake winning, and then we got Kev losing that one. Kev's on a losing streak right now. All right, who's next? Mike versus Tully. All right. All right, so we have Mahomes versus Herbert. Mahomes winning easy, especially with a better yeah. matchup. Uh, Taylor and Barkley over Etienne and Kamara, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Chase beats Metcalf. Mm-hmm. Um... Pittman like versus Dell's yeah. head up. Mm, yeah. Interesting. I I would take Pittman, but take Dell is fair, I guess. And then Lad versus Ridley, I got Ridley. I agree. Especially so Lad Tyler play. wins a wide receiver battle. Mm-hmm. Ridley got Detroit. Uh, That's favorable. Man, if we have Dallas losing as bad as we do, then Njoku should have a better game than Ferguson. That is fair. And then I like McLaurin over Zamir. That is fair as well. Um, San Francisco defense is okay. Uh, Cleveland's defense is okay. Uh, but I got Mike. It's because them RBs are the, really like that, Brian. Going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. Them RBs are insane. And then we got the battle of the theme teams. We got the Falcons versus the Dolphins. Oh, no. Mike and then Ty Leak takes the L, right? Ty Leak just lost. Yeah. That's a really good one, though. That's another good game. And then we got, so, Chris and Montana. Let's look here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Dolphins are playing the Cardinals. We expect that to be a shootout. The Falcons are playing the Buccaneers. That could just be middish. That's on 24-21. So I think the Dolphins quarterbacks are, are even. Game. I think yeah, Lamar the running backs are even as well. Uh, I agree on the running backs as well. Wide outs, I got to go, Chris. Yeah. And then Tyreek Hill, Pitts Adams, and Cup is an elite trio. And, yeah, Pitts is over commit. And then Battle of the Nasty Flexes. The rookies should be being really good right now. Really, like, e- these rookies are either on their team and producing or drop. In my opinion, yeah. right? It's Xavier Worthy and Keon Coleman. Uh, but let's say Chris is going to drop one, then he's playing Marquise Brown, right? I mean, yeah. hopefully one of the Chiefs wideouts hit for him. I don't think it's as bad as Buffalo situation at wideout. Pittsburgh has an elite matchup on defense. Against the New York Giants. Yeah. And Chris and has the New York Giants. He got to play Detroit, Detroit over against, Tennessee. Yeah, Detroit's defense against Tennessee could do okay. Um, I got Christopher. Yeah, those Sorry, wideouts Montana. are tough to overcome. They really are. And then, Sorry, Montana. Uh, you lost to the Big Bears fan. Oh, my. They're going to be a lot of bragging rights on that game. <laughs> week Montana's 9. Montana's win streak is over. Yeah, we are on week 9 now. I think week 8 might be uh, the week of the year. It definitely No, bye weeks is interesting. Shout out to the NFL for that. That is a fire week. All right. Week nine. You ready? Yep. So we got Mike versus I. Okay. Him. Okay, so we got Hurts versus Mahomes. Hurts is at home against Jacksonville. Mahomes is at home against Tampa Bay. Both primetime so, games. Eagles are Sunday night. KC is Monday Eagles. night. Uh, all right, that's fair. Uh, I would kind of lean Hurts, but I mean, that's a different story. I think Taylor and Barkley beat my Kyron and Brian. Oh, yeah, they, they kill him. 
I mean, uh, it's a Brian match. got a good matchup. A good matchup to get like what fifty yards on twenty carries. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, there's a wideout diff here. AJ Brown, Rice, yeah. and Neighbors are killing Metcalf, Tank Dell, and McConkey. Yeah. So whatever running back kill happened, it just got negated. Might even give you a slight edge here. Uh, Cause Neighbors should really be popping off by week nine. Yeah. And then we take McBride over Ferguson, right? Yes, we do. Now we and look we at the it. flex. I got to go you for the flex. And yeah. then defense, you have Seattle versus the Rams, not an ideal matchup. You got Atlanta versus Dallas, not an ideal matchup. Both of you guys will have to stream defenses because San Fran's on a bye week. But I will give it to you because the wideout diff negates the running backs. And then the tight end and flex, you got the advantage. Yeah, I got myself as well. Mike takes the L. All right, next. Dom with tough bye weeks. Oh, Dom nice. versus Trey. Oh, Poverty Bowl. Two and nine. We'll see about that. Let's see you can get there, Dom. So he'll play Caleb, uh, the Detroit Lions, running backs, yeah, Puka, mm -hmm. Devontae, and Demario. Pop Douglas, yo. And then what? Mark Andrews. And does he have to play Mike Will again? He got to play Mike Will or Mike Wilson. Or Nick okay. Chubb. He could go Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb be back. Yeah. But it's not ideal. So I think the quarterbacks are pretty even given their matchups. Yeah, so we got CJ Stroud playing the Jets on Thursday night. And then we got Killer Williams playing Arizona. Um, and then Jacobs and Javante over the Detroit backfield. Or yeah, because Jacobs backfield. is playing the Detroit Lions. He should have a great game. I wouldn't be surprised he he outscored Gibbs. Yeah. And then Javante at Baltimore. I mean, he should outscore Montgomery. Or at least match him. But uh. And then we got. Lanze and Judy, I think, beat Puka, Devontae, and Pop. Yeah, and Zay Flowers in there, too, by the way, for Lamb, Judy's Flowers. Uh, yeah. Kelsey and Andrews is pretty even in my book. Uh, I agree. Um, And then we got the battle of the nasty flexes. We got Dobbs and Mike Will. Yeah. Or Nick Chubb. Jetski, um, Houston, that's not that great of a matchup. Baltimore, Denver. Baltimore gets Denver, which that's is great. a great one. It is tough, and you got Javante, so I mean, it's like, you know, it's kind of kind of productive, but it is what it is. You know what, honestly, I'm going to flip it. I think I, I got Detroit's Trey. running backs over Trey's mm. running backs. I think at best it's a wash. But either way, I'm going Trey over Dom. Yeah, I agree. I got Trey over Dom as well. Dom, you have right. one L right now. Ooh. I'm in my bad. One W right now. Oh, I, I don't like that. What's going on? You versus Kev. No McCaffrey. Oh, no. I'm an imposter. All right, Chase Brown got to be eaten by now. I think Eckler is a solid play. Mm -hmm. Against the Giants, perhaps. Either right? way, Cook and Walker win the matchup. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, Burrow and Murray. Murray at Chicago. Well, no, versus Chicago. It's in Arizona. Burrow versus the Raiders. I got to go Burrow there. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Jefferson and Mar versus Nico and Mike. Yeah, and... The Texans wideouts are playing the Jets. Yeah. I'm, I'm not winning this week. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not and winning. And might week. save you because you got to play Goddard. Bro, Goddard is not. <laughs> I'm tired of you just dunking on my boy Goddard like he's not consistent. 
But nah, I think I do got Kevin this matchup because then yeah. Brooks is really ramped up week nine. Yeah, he, he's locked and loaded week nine. And I got no McCaffrey. That's Although Brian pick. Thomas Jr. might torch Philly. I, I'm not playing double Texans wideouts. I can guarantee you that against the Jets. Mm. I am not doing double Texans. I it's might tough to go decide which one you're going to pick. Uh, I'm gonna go okay. Diz because he plays he played the Jets the most. That makes sense. I feel like he got the yeah. most experience playing the Jets. So I would go them. Uh Diggs. But uh I'm going Kev there. So what I was like on seven game win streak that came to an end because Kev got a dub. Shout out to Kev. Alright. Next week. Yeah. I mean next not next week, next matchup. Um we got Jake versus Bidham. Uh-huh. Okay. Tough so got- for Bidham. He has the Pittsburgh uh, players out, so he loses Warren and Pickens. Yeah, so you got to go Cowboys running back or Tajay Spears. So he got Zeke and Cook he could choose between. Or go Tajay Spears and his RB2. This is this where we debut Hawk? Ooh. You think goes flex, double flex? Double tight end. I think you should really trade one. Yeah. Uh. But. Hmm. Kev hmm, got no Kittle. Say. Let's go ahead. I said Kev. I meant to say Jake. So we got Love versus Watson. Love got Detroit. Watson got the Chargers. A uh, favorable matchup for both of them, but I'm gonna give the edge to Love. Henry and Mixon. Henry got Denver. Mixon has the Jets on Thursday yeah. night. Pacheco and what? Tajay Spears, maybe? Or a Cowboys uh-huh. running back. Versus. I said Henry and Mixon. I got to go Henry and Mixon with the edge, even with the tough matchups. Pacheco got Tampa Bay, but. You agree? Running back edge. Yeah. Right now, slight quarterback. I think we edge, got a big wide receiver edge. edge, though, for Bidham. St. Brown, Romo Dunze, Deontay Johnson versus Garrett Wilson, DJ Moore, Jalen Waddle. I don't know. I kind of like that. I think it. I don't think it's that big of an edge. Mm, okay. St. Brown and Wilson, I think, is even. And you got the Chicago wideouts. So it's Chicago. He's not trying to say it's DJ Moore versus Rome. So it just depends on yeah. who Caleb thrown to that day. And then Deontay Johnson versus Waddle. Is uh, of course Waddle gets the edge, but I, I like DJ. I like Deontay a lot. Yeah, sure. I think it's a slight edge. Uh, the flex. Let's go flex. So let's say it's Rashad White versus JSN or TJ Hawkinson. I like Rashad White a lot over that. I do, especially because would... they'll be playing in a pass-heavy game. Yeah, so against Rashad KC. should be a good yeah. amount of receptions. Definitely should. We got the Dallas Cowboys. Versus defense versus the Chicago Bears defense. Chicago got Arizona. Dallas has Atlanta. I think Dallas I like could come back. One. What? Bro, after they just got shellacked by the Niners? Yeah, but then they got to go into Atlanta. Oh, man. So they're just getting pinballed around. West Coast, East Coast just taking it? Oh, my. <laughs> I mean, possibly. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so I skipped over tight end because... Uh, Bedham has Evan Ingram at Philly on Sunday night. Jake has a bye week. He will have to stream tight end or play Taysom Hill. What do you oh, think of Taysom Hill? Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill, Carolina. Okay, we're playing T. Hill. Taysom Hill is going to be the best running back to tight end one, <laughs> quarterback 30 you ever met. Oh, man. I'm going Jake. What do you have? I got. I think that's game of the week. I got Bedham. All right, you think it's game of the week? Yeah. All right, bet on right, bet Jake. On. Week nine, I have Jake beating Bidham. And Dan, you said you had Bidham, right? Yep. So give the L to Jake, give the W to Bidham. All right, who's next? Tyleek in Montana. Is that the last one, or is there another one? No, there's two more. Two more after that? Including that. Oh, okay, okay, I see. 
Uh, all right, Tyleek Montana, let's get it. All right, so we have Dak versus Lamar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got Lamar. Although I agree. It's kind of even. Uh, Dak at Atlanta. Le well, you just said they were getting pinballed around. So, I mean, which one is it? <laughs> but we got Lamar, Denver. All right, then I got Lamar. All right. Um, Bijan and Swift versus Etienne and Kamara. I'm going Etienne and Kamara. Slight edge. So I'm gonna say it's, it's even. even after. All right, I've been saying it's even after all three. Now we're looking at wide outs here. Uh, Chase beats London. Yes. And then Pittman and T Higgins is even in my eyes. All right. And then he will be playing. Calvin Ridley. No, I youth this week. No. Nah, so Calvin so Ridley would be playing. Jameson Williams steps up. Oh, okay. J Mo. And Tied I got. In. And Joku Top versus the Chargers. Joku. Wow. I think that's a win. I'll be honest, I think Njoku's a trash can. I think where people draft him right now is a terrible value. Because he is popping off with Flacco? Yeah. And how has that relationship improved if Deshaun hasn't practiced in a year? For nine months. Uh, Cleveland's defense against the Chargers. Montana has a bye week for his defense. He will have to stream somebody. Uh, yeah. I like Cleveland's defense a lot. That's I like Ty Leak. Yeah, I like McLaurin at the flex over Keon Coleman against Ramsey. Like, even Keon Coleman's, like, improving as the season goes yeah. on. Ramsey's a tough matchup. Terry McLaurin should be able to pop off against the Giants. Uh, he could go Zach Moss or Curtis Samuel, but... Hmm. Yeah. But at this point, we do think that uh, Brown is doing something, right, in Cincinnati? Yeah. So I would not go Moss. But yeah, I, I got Ty with the dub and Montana with the L. All right. Next, we have the Battle of the Bastards. Uh, Chris versus Sway. Oh, my. The house makes. Okay. Tua. And Allen. Versus Josh Allen. In a and direct head -head. matchup. Yep. Buffalo versus Miami. I got to go Joshy here. But it could be high scoring. Yeah. Uh, running backs. We've got A. Chan and Stevenson versus Brees Hall and Aaron Jones. All favorable matchups in my opinion. I like Hall and Jones. Hmm, let me think about this for a moment. Even. I'm calling it even. Uh, I think as the season goes on, A-Chan becomes more dominant. You see what I'm trying to say? So I think A-Chan has scored three touchdowns in two games against Buffalo. Mm. Y'all heard it there. Uh, so Stevenson and Jones. I also like Stevenson's matchup a lot. Mm. I, I think it's even. Uh, now we're looking at wideouts. Tyreek Hill, Adams, Cup. Versus Olave, Cooper, Godwin. I, I, like I can't Chris's go side. against Chris's wideouts, like, almost ever. That, that is At this point, though, we got to hope that all of them are healthy, right? Yeah, because all his wideouts are, like, 30 and over. Hill, Adams, Cup is dominant, but we're at week nine. Like, Adams might be demanding a trade. Hill might be, uh, like, running 5,000 miles a game and stuff and, like, pull the cramp by now or something because they're going to have this man running streaks and motion left, right, all that nonsense. Cup yeah. is an old that man. Might be watched. Yeah. But he's still got Worthy at the flex. Let's talk about this tight end diff right here. Laporta versus Green Bay. How did he do last year against Green Bay? Let's have a look. Here. Um, it's probably a tale of two different games. 17.7 and 9.6. So, I mean, neither one is bad. Either way, n nobody on Chris's team yeah, is touching Cole, nine. Yeah, it's getting diffed at tight end. Maybe Ben Sinek gets better as the year goes on. This is week nine, though. I don't – maybe we'll see about Cole Komet. We'll see. But Xavier Worthy. Uh, Versus Addison, I like I like yeah, Chris's I like Worthy. Flex is better. Yeah. 
And then, Chris, go find a defense, please. Um, although, I don't really like Swayze either for this matchup. Kansas Tampa City. Bay. I don't think Tampa Bay is that elite. I don't think it's that elite. I got Chris. I'm going Chris. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Sorry, Sway. To week 10 we go. Yeah. All right, so it is I versus Christopher. Okay. Uh, uh, Hertz versus Tua. Got to go Hertz. Does Hertz play Dallas well? Uh, he doesn't play on bad. It's like 20 points. Okay. Oh, the second uh, time we played him, we got killed. I forgot. But that was like, it was a bump knee. He should not have played that game. I ain't going to lie to you, but what is it? Is it in Tyron. Dallas? Or, oh, it's at Dallas. That's a toughie. Yeah. We'll to see. Tyron and Brian Robinson versus A-Chan and Stevenson. A-Chan Monday give it to night. A-Chan and Stevenson. Yeah, I agree. No Devontae Adams, but he's so deep at wide out, that doesn't hurt him. You got Tyreek Hill, Cup, and th those two play each other on Monday night as well. So Tyreek hoping... Cup and Worthy yeah. versus AJ, Rasheed, and Neighbors. I do like Rasheed and Neighbors uh, matchups. Yeah, but mm. that Monday night will be a thriller, bro, I think. I think that's going to be a high scoring thriller. He's AJ Brown up. plays Dallas well. Yeah, he's moving up Christian Kirk. Of a flex, yeah. Now I probably play honestly Hopkins or Palmer. Play Hopkins. Uh huh. Then we're looking at defense. The Giants against Carolina is okayish. It's a solid matchup, but the defense is not crazy. To Carolina and New Orleans. That's that's solid. I like that. That's really good. Um. Uh, I got to go, Chris. I just think that Rams-Miami game, how many points? That's four players, right? You got to be up by 80. Yeah. I think you got to be up by 80, or else you're, like, you're not sleeping well. Yeah. <laughs> A-Chan, Tua, Tyreek Hill, Cooper Cup. If you're not up by 80, you're not sleeping well, Dan. I don't think you're going to be up by 80. I got Chris. I got me. That's fair. Uh huh. That's week ten, right? Week ten. Yeah. All right. Is that game of the week? Maybe we we'll have to see. Maybe. All right. Yes, next matchup. Got Kevin and Trey. Trey heavy bye weeks. Oh, so heavy, heavy. Kev Trey. So yeah. we have James Cook and Brooks versus Javante and... Well, oh, wait, time out. Let's not even go over this, bro. Yeah, I was this man got no Josh Jacobs, no Jerry Judy, no Romeo Dobbs, and his bench is atrocious. Like, yeah. Kev got a dub. Is that something? Good job, Kev. I believe in you. L for Trey, W for Kev. Walter versus World. World. He got Deshaun Watson on the bye week, so you got to play Bryce Young or stream a quarterback. Bryce Young versus Giants on a Europe game since it's Sunday morning. Uh, I got Murray versus the Jets. I'm not playing Kyle Murray against the Jets. Uh, so I got to go so Stafford. Stafford against Miami. Yeah. I'm I like Stafford bye. betting. Yeah. Uh, McCaffrey's back from the bye week, fully rested. Connor has the Jets. Yeah, he might not get played. That might be a Chase Brown game. I don't know. I like Nico I against think, Detroit. I just think McCaffrey gives you the edge. Yeah. Um, 
against Pacheco and Warren is just a carry over there, no matter who I play. I think the wide receivers here are even, in my opinion. Yeah, Garrett Wilson, DJ Moore, Waddle, compared to Nico, Mike Evans, Stephon Diggs, I think is all watched, especially when you think of the matchups. Like, Texans, Detroit, so Collins and Diggs on Sunday night. Let, let, let's go for 40, y'all. Let's go for 40. But he does have Waddle, though. You know, I think that's going to be a high-scoring game. But Yeah. Uh, Kincaid versus Ingram. Ingram wow. has uh, Minnesota. Kincaid has Indy. Yeah, I think that's a watch. We're looking at Flex. I'm playing Brian I'm playing Thomas. Brian has Thomas has the Jr. best game of the season. Against Minnesota yes. at my Flex. Let's get it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then, so with that, I give you the win. I, I agree. It should be a goodie. That's almost game of the year. I say game of the year, game of the week. All right. Uh, Bidum gets the L. That is something we agree on. All right. What's next? Um, We're going to do Dom versus Jake. Dom versus Jake. All right. I think this is Brock Purdy versus T Law. Yeah, he shouldn't play Caleb Williams against New England. Maybe that's a Bill Belichick thing. Maybe that's an organizational thing. I don't know. But rookies just don't do well against New England. Let's mm -hmm. not do it. I mean, you got T Law versus Minnesota. We got Devontae Smith going up and replacing Pop Douglas. So, we also got Najee Harris going back to the flex. He going double Detroit Lions. Uh, who do you have? My uh, I have the Detroit. Um, Mixon is playing them. It will be Mixon versus the Detroit boys. I got the Detroit boys over Henry and Mixon. I think you value them Detroit boys too much. But is it because it's a high-scoring game? You're yeah. Expecting? Hmm. I'm going to call it a wash. I'm going to call it a wash. So I got a wash so far for all three. Let's go to wideouts. Okay, and St. Brown. I've got St. Brown. I got that as a wash. I think both will be high-scoring enough. All right, so Debo and Devontae versus Rome and Deontay. Got to go Debo and Devontae Smith over those yeah. two. Now we're looking at tight end. Mark Andrews on Thursday night versus Kittle. Mark Andrews plays Cincinnati. Kittle plays Tampa Bay. Ooh. How does Mark do against Cincinnati, I wonder? I think he does well. Yeah, he had 15 the first time. He had four the second time. But he got hurt that game, it appears. Yeah. So The hip drop. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give the slight edge to Andrews. I do like Kittle though, but slight edge. I think Rashad has a tough matchup against San Francisco. I agree. Um, so Najee, Najee has a good matchup against Washington. Yeah. Might be a might be a edge to Najee, but we only just call it a wash. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, and the defenses don't matter yeah. too much. Yeah. I'm um, going. I got Domothy. I agree. I've been saying I'm going Dom here. I said the losers like this is Dom's Super Bowl right now. He was on the verge of going two and nine. <laughs> he can't go two and nine, bro. He got to get a dub here. He's gonna get one on Jake. This is a Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> Who's next? Montana versus Mike. All right. Montana Mike. Mike with heavy bias. I just throw up another game for you boys to watch. So we got Lamar versus Pat. Lamar versus Pat. I think that's Pat. pretty even. Uh -huh. Um. Bijan and DeAndre Swift versus Jonathan Taylor and Saquon Barkley. Every one of these running backs has a tough <sighs> matchup. Saquon at Dallas, Taylor at Buffalo, uh, Bijan at New Orleans, Swift at New England. 
I kid you not, Taylor had a 50-point game against Buffalo when he had that uh, RB1 season. Bro, we ain't talking about no three years ago. Stop it. Bro, bro, bro. I mean, it's going to be easier. Nah, it's going to be tough for now. Keon got greatness handing off the ball. Oh, man. I think that the matchup is even. No greatness handoffs. That, that's crazy work. And there is no way I can call this even. It's JT and Barkley. There, there is no way. I, yo, Swift is a trash can, bro. Swift might be benched by now. So can we agree, though, that Montana kills him at wide receiver? That we can, especially with DK Metcalf being on the bye week. Like, maybe absolutely slaughter. destroys him. It, 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 is, it is over with. It is, I have seen enough. The wideouts are Drake London, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins. And he has to find Tank a flex Dale, to play. Link, Lat McConkey, Xavier Leggett, and Jalen Polk. Like, that boy coming out there with, Jesus, take the will. I got Montana. Yeah, that's Montana, bro. So that's Mike, right? Mike with the All right, hell. Mike. I like you, buddy, but. Oh, my. That's a murder, Mike. What are we limping into? Change your name to what's a wide receiver. Forget a running back. <laughs> uh, what's the See, next he had PTSD from last year. That's funny. <laughs> um, so it's Josh Allen versus Justin Herbert. So it's Way versus Tyleek. Yeah, Allen against Indy and Herbert against Tennessee. That's a good matchup. He could go Dak versus Philly, but. Yeah. I got Allen. I got Allen both. regardless. Yeah. Uh, Bruce uh, Hall against Arizona, Aaron Jones against Jacksonville. We also got ETN versus Minnesota, and Alvin Kamara versus Atlanta. I like Brees and Jones. I agree. Although I will say, Sway, Aaron Jones to have a full healthy season is kind of scary at this point. So. Yeah, no Todd Chandler for the handcuff makes this tough, Sway. Uh, you don't want to be playing Devin Singletary. I know you drafted him to troll, and you, you're trying to claim you didn't troll, but I mean, hey. You do you. Amari Cooper's on a bye week. Jamar Chase is on prime time, just giving out to the Ravens. Thursday night, just oh my cooking God. So Alave's getting diffed. Uh, Cooper's on a bye week is tough, so he got to slide somebody up. Who is he calling they up? Slides Addison. Addison. Up. Ooh, that's Pittman nasty. Pittman smacks him. Yeah. And Not I think Ridley. I like Ridley better. Mm. Laporta is destroying. Dalton Schultz. Eh, no, actually, that could be a shootout. Yeah, know. no. No, Schultz is in the same uh, spot same as Same game, it. too. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, McLaurin is destroying whoever he got in the flex. Damn. I'm going KC versus Denver is interesting. That decent should win drastically. He has to stream somebody. Tyleek has to stream somebody. But I'm going Tyleek. I got Tyleek's receivers. Yeah. That's why you suck. Dang. I don't know. Now the pen, the, the end week. Week 11. The final week. All right. <laughs> we got 10 minutes then. Let's get it. All right. You versus me. Oh, damn. Heavy I... bye weeks on both sides. Oh, no, Kyler. No Connor, no Mike Evans. Dan's going out there with no neighbors and no McBride. So I got Stafford versus New England. Not a great matchup. And, and it's at New England. And then running back, I got to call. I got to bring up Chase Brown against the Chargers. Right? So you got Hurts on Thursday night against Washington. Washington's an interesting squad. You normally do really well against them offensively. But, I mean, sometimes BS happens. Uh, so Hurts is going to kill Stafford. All right, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, running back wise, McCaffrey against Seattle. And then you got Kyron and Brian Robinson. Kyron got Yeah, I don't like my matchups. And then Brian Robinson got Philly. I don't like it either. McCaffrey and Chase Brown, whatever advantage Hurts gave you, neutralized right there. Maybe even a slight advantage to me. We're going to White House now. We got the Texans. Whiteouts, Nico and Diggs, primetime games versus A.J. Brown, primetime game. And oh, then, my uh, God. Rasheed Rice. What up? So, Jalen Hurts averages 25 points per game last year against the Commanders, right? Yeah. You know how much this man A.J. Brown does? 
Uh, he, he ducked all over them boys, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. He might have had, had 38 30. and 33. I've been saying he might have had a 30, uh, well, like 40 bomb out near. I, yeah, it was wicked work. It was wicked work. He was mossing dudes in the end zone, taunting, getting yeah, unsportsmanlike penalties on them. Like, bro, it was wild. <laughs> uh, all right, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It's kind of wicked work over there. That, that's an edge to you because Rasheed Rice versus Buffalo could also be a shootout. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, I got Kincaid versus KC, though. That is my saving grace. When you have a no McBride, it has to be a tight end diff. Yeah. It has to be a tight end diff. Because I'm bringing up Brian Thomas Jr. against Detroit. I'm playing Chase Brown against the Chargers. Like, I think there's a chance. I'm also probably playing Khalil Shakir. So I'm going all in on uh, Buffalo KC. Okay, okay. So what do you think then? I ain't going to lie to you. I think it comes down to those Monday night games, and one of those wideouts have to pop off. I got me. I think that's the battle for the one seed. I'm looking at it right now. We're both 8-2. and two. Yeah. What do you have, Dan? Battle for the one seed. Game of the week. Week 11. I'm going to go with me because of the Philly stat. Oh my goodness, he's a good And I think that this is going to be the, the game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you other bums. Alright, uh, so you got yourself. All right, this is going to be a up. test on whose bench is going to be the better one. Yeah. This is crazy. It's a nice match. Alright, so we got Bitterman Mike. All right. All right, so we got Deshaun versus Patrick. Patrick's uh-huh. in Buffalo. At this point, is it is the Buffalo weather a factor? Well, no, he plays in KC, so it don't matter, yeah. right? Yeah, he's, he's solid. With so him. Mahomes players. Uh-huh. Uh, Taylor and Barkley versus Pacheco and Warren. Taylor and Barkley clear. Yeah. Uh, Garrett Wilson, DJ Moore, and Jalen Waddle versus Metcalf, Tank Dell, and McConkey. I give that to Bidham. Yeah, but is it enough to overcome the other diff? I don't think so. So I still no, think Bidham is down. Ingram and Ferguson is a wash. Yeah, because that Dallas Texan one should be high scoring. Maybe um, so should Ingram and Detroit. Pickens and Zamir White. Zamir is playing at Miami. Pickens is playing Baltimore. By now, Justin Fields is the quarterback. Is he able to deliver the ball to him? Is he playing JSN at San Fran? That's a tough get. Uh, I think it's even. That's fair. And yeah. then, to me, none of the defenses make a difference in this matchup. Yeah. Even. So I got Mike. I got Mike as well. I don't think those wide out. I don't think the wide out diff is enough to overcome the diff at QB and RB. Uh, so Mike gets the dub. All right. Dom versus Tyleek. Okay. Uh, so we got Caleb versus, or, well, let me see. Probably T-Law. I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm going to say T-Law versus Dak. Yeah, you got to go T-Law there. And then you got to go Dak. And I'm going to uh, go Dak. Hmm. I, I'm going to call it a walk. No, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Dak. Slight edge. Slight. Uh, give me Detroit ETN boys and Kamara over Detroit boys. Blues to ETN and Kamara, yeah. Yeah. Chase against the Chargers is out doing Puka. Yeah. At, at New England. So now Pittman at the Jets is a struggle. Debo versus Seattle should be good money. It's a home game for San Fran. How did he do last year? He had 34 against Seattle last year. He had 22 against four. So he's going to kill. And then Ridley versus Devontae Smith. Uh, Devontae normally doesn't do that well because normally A.J. Brown is going crazy. 
You have 14.8 and 22.9. Okay, never mind, I lied. Damn. <laughs> it's just compared Yo. to A.J. Brown. <laughs> Yo, just compared to A.J. Brown wasn't anything crazy about me. <laughs> oh, so man. then I got Devontae. And Devontae just scored a TD here while we were talking about dude. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I got Dom. Andrews over in Joku. I agree. So, Don's trying to fight back. And then Terry versus Najee or... Terry's probably going to cook us, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jets' defense gets the Colts. Cleveland gets New Orleans. I think that's even. I'm going to go Tyleek. I'm going to go Dom. All right. So you got Dom with the dub and Tyleek. And then we the got, I got the opposite. Uh-huh. Kev versus Chris. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think we have to look at this one. What is it? Marvin Thielen are on by. Jonathan Brooks is on by. All right, so Kev took a nail, so Chris got the dub. That's all you got to say. Kev does not have a bench to overcome that. Kev, L, Chris, W. All right, who's next? Sway versus Trey. All right, Sway versus Trey. So Josh Allen against Casey, TJ Stroud against Dallas. They're spending double shootouts. Yeah, I, I think give that's the edge even. to Casey. Uh, I, I mean, I meant Josh Allen. I give the slight edge to Josh Allen. I think Dallas defense is. I, I think, think Stroud in prime time might show something. That's fair. That's fair. The uh, all right, Brees Hall and Aaron, Aaron Jones, Jones versus Josh versus Jacobs, Jacobs and Javante. Mm-hmm. I got Hall and Jones. I agree. Uh, Jones plays up. CD Olave. beats Olave. Yeah. Definitely. Because he has Cleveland. Uh, Cooper against New Orleans. That might be a tough one for Cooper as well. Might be a tough for both wideouts for Sway. Olave yeah. and Cooper. That's tough. And then Zay he has to bring Cooper. up a wideout, so he'd be playing either Brandon Cooks or Josh Downs. Nasty work. Or Addison. Yeah. And then he could play a running back or somebody there. I don't know. Gus Edwards. Yeah. It's nasty work. Uh, Chelsea I, and Laporta. As I look at this, I'm looking at Trey Squad. Like I like Trey Squad more. I don't know. I'm liking yeah, Trey I would agree. I think, the I think Trey does person. take the win. All right, we got Trey here. Sway takes a nail. And then Montana versus Jake. All right, we got like. Uh oh, five weeks. Five weeks. All right. He's got two minutes there. All right, so Jake has bye weeks of Deontay Johnson and Rashad White. Do you have mm-hmm. anybody on his bench taking over? Because <laughs> if so, then we have Montana winning. Nah, bye weeks kill him. It's a wrap. He could go double Bears wideouts, but, I mean. It just doesn't look good, right? Yeah, you got to go Montana on that one. So yep. that's Montana. So we're going to go over the record real quick. So Montana gets the W and then Jake gets the L. So record. These are Dan's picks. Mine, I will have to go do the math on, so don't take it too exact. But what we have is, is Dom, you are finishing 3-8. and eight. Bidum, you are finishing 4-7. and seven. Kev, you are finishing 5-6. and six. Sway, <laughs> you are crazy. finishing 5-6. and six. Montana, you are finishing six and five. Dan, you are finishing nine and two. I am finishing eight and three. Trey, you're finishing four and seven. Jake, you're finishing five and six. Mike, you're finishing one, two, three, four, five and six as well. Tyleek, you're finishing six and five. Chris, you're finishing six and five. That will be all. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are out. Then I